G3CB Business Spotlight, brought to you by the Canadian Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong. I'm Rosemary Goder, co-founder of Systematic Edge, and I'm also one of the executive committee officers at the Canadian Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong. And today, I'm the host for this episode of the Greater China Canadian Community, or G3CB, Business Spotlight, brought to you by the Canadian Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong. So today I'm here speaking to Yvette Yan, General Manager for APAC at AppNovation, a full-service digital consultancy. Now, Yvette, welcome to CanCham Hong Kong. I understand you're a new member, and it's wonderful that you could join us. We are all super excited. But in order for our members to get to know you a little better, can you tell us a little about AppNovation and its background? I understand it was founded in Vancouver, which you may know is my hometown. Hi, Rosemary. Thank you so much for inviting me onto this podcast and giving me a chance to introduce myself and Abnovation to the members of the Chamber. It's a real pleasure joining the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. You've all made me feel very welcomed. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, you're right. Abnovation was founded in Vancouver. I've really grown to love the city since joining Abnovation. So if you have any tips on interesting places to visit, do let me know. Innovation was founded in 2007, and since then we have grown into a global full-service digital consultancy with 16 offices in the Americas, in Europe, and APAC. Hong Kong is our headquarter in APAC. We have also got operation in Singapore and staff in the Philippines. People may find it interesting that our company name, Innovation is a combination of applied and innovation. It actually implies the approach we take to create meaningful, innovative, and people-inspired digital experiences and technology solutions to help brands solve business challenges. We believe that any business building experience must be centered around what people find most valuable to them. And that's where innovation comes in. Our cross-functional multinational team of consultants, strategists, designers, and developers deliver a full spectrum of digital services spanning across strategy and insights, creative and experience design, marketing and communications, technology and platform development, managed services and support, and corporate agility and governance. We collaborate with our clients to understand their individual challenges and goals for every initiative. We have helped them identify business needs, provide research and strategy, roadmaps and planning, all the way through to design and development, market launch, training, and managed services. We work with our clients in a number of different ways. This really depends on their needs and maturity in their digital transformation journey. For example, we are working with a Hong Kong property developer to enhance their corporate agility with an aim to improve their organization's efficiency in response to changes such as the pandemic. We also recently built a POC for a startup in a very short period of time to help them raise funding by very quickly assembling a scrum team and successfully completing the first release within two sprints. Yvette, those sound like very interesting projects that you've been working on. Thanks for sharing. But before I ask my next question, I wanted to give you my one recommendation of many for your next trip to Vancouver. So you should do the grouse grind. It's a great way to discover Vancouver's local mountains on foot, get exercise, and see some amazing views from the top. Okay, so now that I've given you my Vancouver tip, here's my next question. Compared to the other digital consulting firms, how would you describe your unique value proposition? What makes Abnovation different lies in three key areas. Firstly, we think big while staying agile. We always help clients zoom out and focus on solving the real life challenges and business problems. Sometimes they may just come asking us to redesign a website or a mobile app or conduct some user research. But the first and foremost question we always ask is why? That way, we can help them identify their pain points and challenges and make sure the solution answers their business needs. The team also stays nimble and agile during this process, where we swiftly play different roles such as innovator, enabler, engineer, or business partner for our clients, really depending on their needs and digital maturity. We are, as a team, dedicated to delivering the right solution and best outcome for our clients in an agile way, and this really is in our DNA. Secondly, we focus on creating and delivering seamless experience across the end user journey, building on top of a solid foundation of execution excellence. Once we have answered the why, we will then ask what is the right solution and how to best deliver it. The solution is usually a balance 
of strategy, experience design and technology. This is where our cross-functional team walk the extra mile to ensure we are bringing the engaging and effective experience to our clients and users. And finally, as a global consultancy, we have talents in 16 locations around the globe. We have a genuine global coverage with extensive local relevance in the different markets. So we are able to leverage on global expertise and experiences, whether this is skill sets or industry knowledge or best practices. This is something we find truly valuable and always appreciated by our clients. Yvette, I like that imagery that you describe by your zooming out and asking the why, what, and the how. It absolutely makes sense. So now, so that we can get to know you a little better, as well as your firm, can you tell us a little about your background and something that most people probably don't know about you? Yes, of course. Um, my professional experience is in digital transformation and digital marketing within both pure play digital and integrated agencies in Hong Kong and in London. I started my career as a web designer in London. I then progressed down a career path as a creative where I was a designer at Microsoft in London and art director at a boutique agency in Hong Kong. Then I joined WPP's XM Asia as, the, as their creative director before realizing my real interest lies more in the business strategy side of things than creative and experience design. Since then, I've been in business development and management roles, driving digital strategy and transformation for clients, as well as business growth for digital agencies like Havas in London and publicist group, in, uh, publicist group agencies like Nuren and Digitas in Hong Kong. I still absolutely love what I do, even after 20 years in the industry, um, because technology keeps evolving every day and enabling new behaviors. My interest lies in how digital changes people's behavior and the way that we live our lives. And I'm really fascinated by that behavioral change in people. I'm also passionate about the potential of digital to help brands build custom engagement and drive business growth. I really enjoy working with our clients in this area. I'm new to CanCham, so most people don't know very much about me. Um, besides work, I'm a potter. You will find me in my partner's studio in Wong Tsuk Hang on most weekends playing with clay. I started learning pottery about four years ago and completely fell in love with it. Living and working in a digital world means I'm in front of the computer or mobile devices all the time. And I love how pottery gives me peace of mind and a chance to work with organic materials, get really dirty, be creative and make things with my own hands. The studio is my sanctuary, a time out from work and stress really. Interestingly, there is a connection between play and work. That's the human centric approach. In making functional pottery, you have to understand and consider how someone will use the product. For example, how someone would hold a cup how they would drink from it and the type of beverage they will use the cup for. All of this will inform how you design the right form and use the right technique and material to create the optimal experience for them. Say, for example, if it's a hot drink, you want to make sure the cup is not too thin so you won't burn your hands and the handle is big enough for a large hand to hold on to. I can talk for hours and hours about pottery, so but I think this is for a whole different podcast. Well, our office is also in Wong Chuk Hang, so I would love to come by and see your work. It sounds amazing. So now, last question for you. What trends are you seeing in the digital space? And what are your tips for the audience to know if their digital strategy is effective or if it needs a rethink? There are a lot of trends and innovation and buzzwords floating around the digital space, such as 5G, AI, RPA, Omnichannel, my advice is always to make sure there is a real business need in your organization and remember to focus on the outcome that you wish to achieve before embarking on the latest trends. Um, there are a couple of trends that I would like to talk about in the digital space. First is total experience. As business have been hit severely across all industries because of the pandemic, it has become more and more challenging and competitive than ever. And what we've seen is that success lies in the holistic customer experiences. What does that actually mean? Well, most companies already have a number of digital touch points in place, like your website, your mobile app, um, social media pages, uh, e-newsletters, CRM, search, etc. 
And most companies are now fairly good at monitoring individual performances by looking at analytics reports on how each touch point is performing and how to optimize them to meet KPIs. However, there is one important factor missing and that's connections. The connections amongst these touch points from the perspective of the end user journey, connecting the dots really, it's all about connecting everything from content to data, user experience, employee experience, platforms and infrastructure across the whole end user journey. And this requires an in-depth analysis on the current state of your entire digital ecosystem and having a clearly defined set of metrics along the way in order to set out the appropriate strategies to tackle both short-term challenges and meet long-term goals. Another very interesting and current um, trend is the touchless experience. Using technology that enables touchless interactions between consumers and brands will become more important as more people venture out of their homes. Our research has found that more than half of all consumers are completely comfortable with things like sensor and gesture recognition, touchless technology like tap and go and voice and face recognition. This is a new area of consideration when designing consumer experiences that we did not have to worry about pre-pandemic. Um, so therefore, the work of user experience and user interface designers are more important than ever to accommodate this new human behavior. When it comes to the effectiveness of your digital strategy, I would say the question to ask is whether your digital strategies and metrics are effective in delivering your desired business results. And that's really the most important question to ask. If you're unsure about it, um, don't worry, we're always happy to have a chat and see how we can help in any way. Yvette, thank you so much for your insights and advice on trends in the digital space. I know this is a topic that is top of mind for most of our members. It was great to get to know you and your company, which is from my hometown of Vancouver. And if anyone would like to contact you, they can do so through the chamber or directly on LinkedIn. These podcasts are made to spotlight and support our amazing Canadian connected business community operating from Canada to greater China. And so thank you to everyone who has joined us today.